Hi, this is Albert from AWB Electrical and Maintenance Services. I'm just doing a quick little video on modifying an alternator for external regulation. Uh, in particular, this is actually a presser like uh, ADS-C series alternator. So they do come in varying amperages. They come in uh, battery, batteryless versions. They come in 12 and 24 volt versions. This one's actually technically a batteryless version, but doesn't matter. Um, I prefer these alternators for conversions or marine conversions for a couple of reasons. Standardized, they commonly come in, they commonly come in a um, insulated negative fashion, which is good for boats. Uh, pretty much it means that you can use it pretty much for any application on a boat, as well as that they're ignition protected, the way the, uh, the brushes are encased. And they're very easy to modify for external regulation. And two, they come in a heap of different uh, output versions. So in the 24, you can get like, a, I believe 100, 125. This one is 150, there's 160. I think there's 175 and a 200 amp version of it. Um, just be aware if you're using different sizes of this unit, um, be aware of the maximum speed and the minimum speed which isn't quite right with external regulation, that the, the curves will change, but um, the maximum speed you've got to maintain, you've got to make sure you don't exceed that for continuous operation. So in this application, I'm actually running a 75 mil uh, pulley on it. And then that's going to be coupled to a 140 mil pulley. The engine's got a maximum speed of 3,200 RPMs and so it gives me just below 6,000 RPMs, which is what the maximum recommended continuous speed for this alternator is. The engine can actually do it a slightly over that, um, but the owner doesn't run it anywhere near that maximum speed because he says it actually sounds really, really nasty when he runs up that, that, that speed there. Um, it's only for due to the fact that the application actually has a gory, impel, uh, gory propeller on it, which um, allows some extra features to overspeed it, but it's only for short-term usage in that. So basically with this alternator, the way it comes, this is bolted onto there. What I do is generally just split it, which is just four quarter inch bolts, which go through. This splits really easily. Um, the brush holder sits into here. Sorry, into there. You'll have, you'll have two wires going through there they'll loop around to there, which will go into the back end of this guy here, which goes like that. And then you'll have two black wires here. One goes to that terminal, one goes to that terminal there. So one's a negative and one's for the diode trio for, to excite the regulator. So we don't need any of that. So I've just cut that off. You could technically just cut these two wires out but I don't like how these wires sit. They actually sit a bit sloppy in here. So they can catch on the back end of this rotor here, which they shouldn't do, but I just don't like it. Just the way they sit there. You know, factory, that's where they're made. It's probably, it should be fine. So what all I do is I just take the wires out of here. These spade terminals go onto these, this guy here. And I modify the this cover, which is the external cover to here. I actually drill that to the same size as the hole inside there. The gland, the rubber grommet, sorry, which is which was in there, I've actually put it here. So that makes actually a nice sealed point there for your two field wire, wires to come out. Assemble it back together and that's ready to rock and roll. So these alternators are pretty easy, easy to get all around the world. They're commonly used for all different types of, type of, types of applications from marine uh, diesel applications through to uh, uh, trucks and buses. So they're very easy to source. So they'll either come as a, known as a presser light or a lease Neville. Um, and as I said, compared to a Delco Remy, they're a little bit cheaper. They got decent sized bearing you know bearings in them the they're more sealed so they're a bit 
more uh, less open than a Delca Remy. They're easier to split. Like this one here, I've just got on the back of the truck here, just to, and I've been doing it, all the modifications in the back of the truck. I've modified one of these in about 45 minutes on my, on my lap with basically an impact, some hand tools and a drill. So they're very, very easy to do. And um, yeah, so if it takes you more than an hour, you're probably struggling a bit there, but even your first time, I, I would be very surprised if it took you more than an hour to modify one of these. So this one here in particular is gonna be um, in use in a, in a boat for a 24 volt system. And it's gonna be running off an Arco Zeus external regulator. I have used wake speeds with these. I have used Balmars with these uh, regulators. They've all worked fairly, fairly well. You can also take uh, for temperature sensing, you can take from there or there. If you go from there, you've got to fuse it because, well, technically you should be fusing it. It's not recommended because it, obviously it's positive. So generally you take the take your temperature sensing from either your negative post or you can take it from one of these posts here, which is basically, that's off the back end of the windings there. So um, some temp sensors, you may struggle to get into there, but they're very easy. Unbolt, bolt. You've got access hole underneath there, so it's fairly easy to do. So hopefully that helps someone out. Um, other thing too, these commonly come in J180 mount, which is very, very common for diesel applications in marine. So the only bad thing about them is physically to get this capacity. This is a large case style alternator, so it is physically big compared to your, like a lot of your small Lucas, uh, Valio, uh, Bosch style alternators. But this thing could pretty much put out 160 amps all day, every day. Um, and not even break a sweat. Um, and typically you'll find for these, to get anywhere near this capacity on a small case, you, you'd you probably be almost the same price anyhow. So yeah, if there's any questions or if you uh, want to know anything more about this, feel free to comment, send me a message, or even like, like the, uh, the video. Thank you very much.